Oh. Oh, hello. So that's what happens when you don't get quite close enough and you're attaching. Hello everybody, my name's Atley. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my SnowRunner hard mode playthrough. Bit of a drama day today. Phase 8 dropped. And for all of us who are interested in hard mode playthroughs, the Phase 8, by default, sets your hard mode save as if it looks as if it's a normal mode. And it's not strictly true. It's kind of not what's happening. Uh, I have done a community post. There's a um, Steam Workshop discussions uh, thread on this that explains a workaround if you don't want to wait for the devs to fix it. I'm pretty confident that devs can fix it because I managed to fix it using Notepad on my PC. But you big big caveats around this, you really need to back up your files. And I can't, I wouldn't recommend anybody messes with their save files because this game is a bit weird with saves. But there is a workaround that gets your hard mode save back. Now I'm playing this on a PC that is disconnected from Steam Cloud so that I could potentially do some footage and then lose it, lose the gameplay if I have to restore to a previous version of my save. It probably makes more sense to just wait for the devs to fix it. And I know it's really frustrating. It's frustrating for me as well. But I cannot recommend going and messing with your save files because it's too easy to make it so that you lose the save completely. But that said, I've done it and so far it looks like it's worked for me. So I am in my save and it is hard mode. I am currently in the Amur garage because I've just brought my Voron Grad back just in case I need it. But I am going to go off to the Glades. Phase 8, Crossroads. And we're going to do a little bit of Phase 8 first look. I'd like to try and get the step unlocked. I've been saying this on my Yukon series. My hard mode series for anybody who hasn't seen my videos before. I've, I've done a hard mode series following the phase release order. So I've done Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, Kola Peninsula. I'm almost at the end of Yukon and I intend going to Wisconsin next. But this weekend, I want to do a first look, uh, just like a special expedition into the phase eight map. And I would love to unlock the step hike. See how we do. And I'm just going to take a chance on it, right? This is my this is my choice, my risk. It is a risk. I acknowledge that it's a risk, and I'm and I'm owning that risk. But I am not recommending anybody else does the same thing because it's, um, yeah, it's a, it is risky. So we are in the glades. Look at the map. There are four watchtowers around the garage, but I can't see anything obviously because I want to just come here. I have been told, thanks to Lexa, that. The path to the step pike requires me to do beast rising, do some farming and open up the gateway to get to another map, the Institute. So I'm going to accept this beast rising, which gives me a Kiravets K700 tractor. And then I've got to do some farming, which is what this expansion is largely about. But I've not done that. And, I, and I've avoided looking at other people's public test server content for this. I've, I've seen maybe 10 minutes total content of this because I like to not do spoilers for myself. But we're going to go and we have to do Beast Rising. That gives us gives us a tractor. Then we'll need to do Sample Field, which is locked behind Beast Rising. Sample Field, Cultivate a Field. That gives us access to the gateway. Uh, once we've done that, then we can go up into the other map and try and get the step. So we're in the garage. We need a vehicle. I think for now, because it's already in the garage anyway, and I know it's already got repair points and fuel, I'm going to just use the Tatarin. I've got access to a couple of vehicles. I could bring the Phoenix through. I've got the Voron Grad. Um, but I think, and I could garage something else if I felt I needed it. But I think I'm going to bring the Tatarin through. And which I haven't used in Yukon since I went off and did the Don Tatra Force recovery. And I haven't finished Yukon, so I'm not bringing any of my Yukon trucks here. I only have to pay to take them back. So I think I'm going to deploy 3,500. That's my Tatarin. And then we're going to go out and we'll have a look around. 
daylight's wasting, so let's not mess around. Uh, something else that's happened with phase eight for me is that the default bindings, because I've never changed the bindings of my gear shifter have, have altered. So I don't know why they would have done that, but the, the position of my gears is different to how it was before today. So I'll be changing gears um, quite a lot in the wrong order <laughs> and, and probably getting quite frustrated with it. But let's have a look at the map. And we got to go to this scrapyard. So out here, up there to the scrapyard. And I'll probably tag that watchtower while I'm near by there. I don't know if the Tatarin is up to the job of recovering this tractor. I don't know what the relative weight of the tractor versus the Tatarin. Tatarin's a bit of a beast, isn't it? So it might be all right. If I need to bring something bigger, then I've got a couple of options in the garage. Not entirely sure that I've got fuel for them. I'm kind of going to throw money at this. I'd like to get the step pike. I'd like to see a bit of this map. And I'm not going to worry too much about deploying things here that I subsequently then take back to Wisconsin or somewhere else. I'm just going to enjoy a new region because it, I, st I came to this game like 18 months after most people had finished it. I started playing this quite late and as a result of that this is the first time that I've actually got to play a, a new map that's not been done to death by all of you lot. Which means it's uh, you know, basically your first time play through for all of us isn't it? This map now. So I'm coming in looks like I can see red and yellow at the back of this Scrapyard. And that looks like that's my tractor. K700. Uh, what do I have to do to that then? Uh, I have to tow it back to the garage by the look of it. Let's see if I can move it. It is coming into dark by the look of the shadows, so uh, let's just try and get moving as quick as we can. got some fuel in it let's pull it out a bit and then I'll turn myself around reassuringly I managed to just move it fairly easily then yeah that's that's me finding the wrong gear because of the way they've remapped the gears it's a bit annoying but that isn't too annoying for me I'm driving with a Logitech G920 wheel pedals and shifter setup, uh, and I've been really enjoying it, but my gears are just all in the wrong place now, which is just going to be a bit distracting. And occasionally you'll hear clicks of my steering wheel. I edit them out if it's in between talking, but if I'm on a steering lock in the middle of a sentence, not always easy for me to edit out the click without losing the thing I was talking about. I do try to avoid it if I can, but it's not always possible. So it looks like we're dragging this back to the garage. I won't worry about that watchtower that I said earlier not far away but I'm not gonna do a special detour for it honestly don't know this this could be uh, an hour's work it could be six hours work I almost don't care how long it takes this might end up being longer episodes so I'm planning on doing maybe uh, Friday and Saturday as phase 8 content but if I get the step within an hour then it's a short episode if it takes me six hours, then it'll be two three-hour episodes, or however I edit it down. But I'm I'm pretty sh determined to try and get the step this weekend, basically. Don't even know how good it is, really, because I haven't seen, I haven't even looked at reviews on it. I just know that on paper it looks like a pretty good truck, and people were talking about it as being maybe the best of the step family. 
the pike pretty good for logging it's i think the third truck in the game that will handle long logs plus loading crane along with the paystar 5600 ts and the 73 210 So does this does this just become mine when I drag it into this box then? You don't know if you haven't done this either. Looks like, doesn't it? Well done. Looks like we're lucky. This thing only needs some minor repairs. I think you already know where this is going. Two thousand dollars. Accept the reward. Turn the Tatarin's engine off. Uh, what does it need? Uh, this truck. So refuel and put. I've got a full roof rack on the tattering still. So I'll put a full tank in the tractor anyway. And then let's have a look at repairs. It needs 93 points. I am full, but I'm not going to do that from here because looking at the state of that tractor I'm going to be paying for a cosmetic repair on it anyway so here is our new tractor <laughs> that's funny what a beast what a funny looking thing sounds like it's got a hole in one of its pistons ouch that wants a repair, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to pay. I begrudge this. Anybody who watches my series knows I begrudge paying for cosmetic repairs this much. But it's a new truck. We're going to get it done. Now, so what are my options to customize this? The big engine. So that's the same engine that the Azovs take, isn't it? And the, the Zix, etc. I'm not going to buy an engine for it. I said I was going to splash some cash, but I'm not going to spend that much. Special gearbox. Tractor. So there's no suspension option. Don't think. Yeah. Um, stock tractor tires versus other types of tires. I don't know. I mean, those MSH ones look pretty chunky, but I'm going to stick with the stock ones for now until I hear different. Wheel fenders. So, yeah, this is an interesting one. You can put 800 repair points and six spare wheels on it. It's not. That's maybe a good little rescue vehicle. And a, a manipulator crane that's supposed to be good for doing logs. Heavy round cargo. That's logs, basically, isn't it? So that's a manipulator crane on the back. I don't know if I fancy that. Uh, as usual, I'm taking off the rear mud guards where they can because they just tend to get in the way rims no choices there i'm oh, quite happy with the default colors so the only thing really is do i want to put a bigger engine in it i would like to put a gearbox in it that's only six thousand that just gives me more low range gear options i think i'll do that but i think i'll leave the default engine for now and if i if i really feel it's underpowered I'll get it back in the garage. I'll do, do a quick swap over to another garage and take a big engine out of another vehicle. I don't fancy buying a big engine for this. I don't know how much I'll use it after this weekend until I get to this region properly. Uh, let's go. So now we should be able to, having done the beast one, we can now do sample field. Which looks like step one, deliver a cultivator to that field. Cultivator being down here somewhere. So we'll come out of the garage. Obviously it's hard mode, which means I can't change it to be daylight. So unfortunately, me and you will have to put up with it being dark. Somewhere in this circle, there's a cultivator. Let's go and have a look at that. And I'll just leave the tattering where it is for a minute. I have had a, a sort of brief reconnaissance on Map Runner, so I know a little bit about this map. 
and one of the things is that I believe there's a fuel station at two dollars a litre that's an interesting sound that engine though isn't it what's it like in the cab oh it's got the steering wheel on the correct side as a Brit this is where the steering wheel should be Oh, that's a bumpy old thing. Nah. I'm going to put that back in third person. So we've got to do some field work. And it might still be dark by the time we get there. Not my favourite. But... I had mixed thoughts on this when it, when it first came out. I kind of thought it was a joke when they said they were going to do farming. I was looking around to see if it was April the 1st when they said they were going to add farming to SnowRunner. Um, I play, I haven't done it on YouTube, but I play Farming Simulator 22 a fair bit as a, as my, as a side game. And it's got a, a hell of a lot of depth of farming content. And there's, there's stuff that I know they're not going to be able to do in this game. And I have seen enough in my 10 minutes of looking at other people's content to whet my appetite. To know that you plant crops and they instantly mature and you immediately harvest them whereas in the real world and in farming simulator you plant crops and then you have to wait for them to grow before you can harvest them so there's some stuff they've done that's like less realistic than farm sim is that a road is that where i'm meant to go Turn the engine off. no okay so carry on down here now that i've opened up the shadows a bit i can see a little bit more about where i'm going But I've changed my mind a little bit. I haven't actually done the farming yet. But one thing this game has got is really good terrain and vehicle physics. Which, as much as I enjoy Farming Simulator, it doesn't have really good terrain and vehicle physics. So, so I'm interested to see how this feels as a farming game. And I suspect I'm going to want to wave a magic wand and have some developer combine the two so that we get farming simulator depth of simulation combined with this game's simulation of terrain and physics put the two games together and you would have one hell of a game wouldn't you but we'll see i i kind of this is this is by far a better driving game than farming simulator but farming simulator is Probably a better farming game. Let's see how it feels when we actually get to do it. Hopefully you understand what I mean. I'll try and make sense of that, editor. Ah, see, that's my gear stick got me in the wrong direction again. So I'll just stick it in high and see if it can. So it looks like I'm down here. My waypoint is off to the right, but I can see the symbol of the thing that I'm trying to find. And my camera up so I can see a bit better. This is the old tractor. I know there's another tractor that you can get. I have no idea where it is. So I'm assuming that this tractor will be good enough to do sample field. Let's get the cultivator and see. It's got a three point linkage on the back. Um, I think it's also got a normal tow hitch. So that's the cultivator. Never done this before on this game.
See if that'll let me attach. Yep. And then the field. I kind of want to be under one of these lights because I want to see how this thing works. I'm assuming there's an operate function that lets you unfold and fold the trailer. Because it is a trailer type. It's got, it's a towed one. Um, operate? No. You might have to be in the field for it to operate. That would make sense. But the field looks like it's just down this road. It's exciting. I'm, I'm really worried that this save won't work and that I'll have a problem. I don't trust it to all work fine for me. But we'll see. And let's let the road in. I'm no respecter of fences, me, so I'm just going to scat that fence out of the way and get in the field and see if I can deploy this cultivator. Oh, it auto deploys. Right, okay. Interesting. Interesting choice. So that means let's get myself in. Uh, I could do with much better lights. Again, Farming Simulator 22. Put the lights on and you got lights all around because it's set up for nighttime farming. This isn't really. So I can't see what's happening, which is really disappointing. What time is it in the game? One o'clock in the morning. And then how is it measuring this? So I'm 2% done, so there's a... I hide the HUD away, which not everybody likes, but I do. And it's my game. <laughs> um, yeah, I... Won't be able to track through the HUD unless I just press the function menu button. I missed a bit there. Knock this fence out of the way as well. Okay, so it unfolded before it got to the edge, really. doesn't feel underpowered so at the moment I'm not feeling you'd kind of expect cultivating would be the most intensive horsepower job of the farming tasks I should think and I've speculated on my Yukon series about now that they've got this whether they would apply farming to any of the older phases because as, as you probably all know there's loads of fields in Michigan uh, Tamir Don a lot of the mud a lot most of the muddy maps have got muddy fields in them it probably wouldn't be too hard for them to retrospectively add farming the way that I am told that they added logging back to some of those older maps when logging came in with Yukon. Trying to do a headland and then if this was Farming Simulator 22, I'd just hit the B button and have a worker finish a field for me. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this engine certainly feels powerful enough for what I'm doing, so that's that's fine. And I don't suppose that tractors are particularly practical to use for like, towing trailers around and doing deliveries. I'm not sure what other add-ons they would take on the other tractor. Or what trailers they can pull. I can just about see in my headlights on the left there the scraped down view of the field that's been cultivated already. And the I already know that the task to unlock the pike I think the task to unlock the pike seems to require a field to be cultivated based on map runner. So when I'm done here I will go with this vehicle and tow this cultivator up through the map to the other area with me. Actually, let's just see if I can now come down through here. Hey, it's rubbish I'm doing this in the dark, isn't it? But even if I waited out the night, I'll, all it would mean is that in a minute I'll be doing something else in the dark. This pulls it in also fine. It'll do it in high, the high speed, high speed cultivating. I'm not knocking it, it works. I lost control of it a little bit then. Maybe also is a little bit too fast for it. Lots of stones, I need a stone picker. I enjoy this. I would enjoy it more if I could see it. So would you. Um, but the sky's lightning. It'll be daylight soon. Right. So that looks like that's auto completed based on the percentage and the couple of little bits that I missed have been cleared. Who's that? What's that then? Hmm. Scarecrow? Don't knock him over. How did he survive me driving around in the dark? That's miraculous. I assume this is the planter. Yeah, it looks like a planter. Uh, fuel. Bit of a worry. I have to bring the tatter in. I may end up deploying fuel here. Because I don't know how long it'll be before I can unlock fuel on the map. Or find a fuel trailer. Attach the trailer. So this is a planter. And my task now is to deliver it to the field, which presumably means it'll auto-activate and start planting stuff as soon as I drive into the field again. Just like it did just with the cultivator. So the width of it is a little bit wider. Let's see if that line will work. Let's see how this works. Yeah. Again, can't really see what's going on. I can see plants. I can just about see plants in the dust storm that's following me down the field. Oh, 
I'm not feeling like this tractor needs a bigger engine at all. I don't know if it does crop damage. I am going to be driving over this headland. And it's not planting seeds, it's planting plants. So presumably if I drive over them, I could damage what I've already planted. I also didn't need to put any seeds in it, so that's another interesting thing. Okay, so there's little green plants that I can see there, and it is getting a bit more light now. A bit more satisfying to watch, I hope. I hope this save works. I'm pretty paranoid about that. Doing a manual workaround on these game files. Because if they're fixed for the problem somehow doesn't like the way that I've manually edited this save, I could end up needing to do all of this again to catch up to what I've recorded. If I was sensible, I would just wait, wouldn't I? But I wanted to get some Phase 8 footage out there this weekend, really. Steer is a bit funny, this one. It's a bit of a short wheel wheel length on it as a trailer. Doesn't corner very well. I don't know if I also need to plant and harvest on the step mission either. Putting little plants in, look. That's cute, isn't it? I guess these are potato plants. Looks like a potato planter to me. But So this is the difference, right? Farming Simulator 22, which is a really good farming game, but all you're doing in Farming Simulator 22 when you're cultivating or planting or ploughing or anything, really, is you're just putting down a texture. You're not changing, whereas this is deforming the soil based on the physics engine and putting plants in, you know, actual plants. And I know they grow in to be actual plants on Farming, on farming Sim, but the soil work itself is really just texture painting. avoid knocking over the Mr. Scarecrow. Why is he there anyway? Is he there? Is that an achievement for knocking him over? Or is it an achievement for doing the field without knocking him over? I'll try and go around him if I can. Although percentage-wise, I don't think he's in an area that's affecting Must be nearly done for percentage, surely. Nice bit of sunrise. 
I haven't scoped out the music for this yet, so I don't quite know how I'm going to do the music for this episode. I thought I'd be pretty much done with this. There's a bit there that I've missed. Through the middle. Don't think I've missed much. There you go. All right, and there you go. So that's instantly grown. I did wonder how they would do that. That's now gone from the little uh, starter plants that I put in to basically that's that's a fully ready to harvest plant, which is a bit of a realism problem, isn't it? But whatever. It's a trucking game, not a farming game, really. Let's just drop that off. A bit low on fuel. Um, turn this off. There's a fuel station. But I don't know if it needs unlocking. It's not that far away. So my next thing is to go and get a harvester. Somewhere down here, obviously. But I think I might run up the road to this watchtower. Because I think somewhere around here... There's a fuel station. Somewhere in that vicinity. So if I come to this watchtower, I might be able to see some fuel. And then uh, if Map Runner is right, which I'm sure it is, I think it's two dollars a litre. So if it doesn't need unlocking, then I'll just fill up. Because that's that's the yeah, that's a good price. I'm not going to bring fuel in if I can get it here for two dollars a litre. Might be that I could have harvested that field without buying more fuel, but I'd rather not run out and have to bring the tatter in over. If I can. I'm a little bit undecided. I'm going to prioritise finding out where the step hike is and trying to unlock it. And then once that's done, I might have a look at what else I want to do to have a sort of look around this map. But as a special expedition, it's twofold. One is try and get the step hike, and two is have a look at this map while it's fresh. Which I didn't do for Tennessee because I'm just not that interested in the racing meta for this game this didn't appeal to me from what I did see of it before it came, went live oh I've ignored the I've ignored the watchtower and gone straight from my waypoint, that watchtower is just there I'll get it on the way back but I'll keep coming up this road and see if this is where the fuel station is that's the trouble, we're putting a, a waypoint down that's not at the watchtower so what's that then? Oh, that's a contest. I'm certainly not doing that right now. I hate contests. Lakeside racing. Nice sunflower um, fields. Lots of sunflower fields as well. Nice and colourful, isn't it? I really do like the look of the map, I have to say. Right, so there's fuel. Is it usable yet? And how much is it? Looks like it's usable to me. dollars a litre and I can use it right away. So I'm just going to fill that up. Cool. And then I'll get rid of the waypoint and go back down. But as I'm going back down, I may as well tag that. There's no reason not to. Cool. Well, that's all right. If we, got, if we can get fuel for two dollars. It's a nice touch. There's apparently quite a lot of vehicles on this 
I think there's there's Don 71, there's a Chevy pickup truck. Uh, I believe there's another Tager, not a Tager B, the standard Tager. But there's a Tager, which to be fair, I'd, pr I'd probably sell. Why, do I, why would I need two of the same truck? So yeah. Right, let's get this watchtower up real quick. And then we'll go and do the... Find the harvester. Filter shoot, hay delivery, supplies for the village. A bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this, a bit of that. Sounds like my kind of ask. Just see what that showed us on the... Right, so there's the gateway, which is currently locked. And that's the map that I believe the step to be in. And then there's a service trailer, so that's handy. Spare parts. Is that my trailer? Or is that a task, task trailer? It looks like it's mine. To me. Um, not seeing any fuel. I am seeing a Chevy, which is broken and low on fuel. Maybe task related or maybe just be mine. Um... That's another harvester. But it, we, I'm assuming we need the actual harvester, the one that they're talking about. So let's back down through here, past here to there. And at that point, we should have an idea of where this harvester is and take it back to the field. It's a very pretty terrain, isn't it? Very. Very lush and green. Obviously got a bit of a Tamir vibe to it. And it is... Is it Central Asia they've called it? Um, due to the geopolitical situation in the world, this is not aligned to any specific country. So if I call it Russian by mistake, I don't mean to. But we all understand, right? Let's crack on and get this harvester. As I can see my field light, it's just clipping into into view on the left there. That's quite smart, all green. Oh, hello. I was busy looking at my field and nearly ditched it. As usual with any of these articulated types of vehicles, a little bit weird on the steering. It takes a bit getting used to. That petrol station's handy as well because it's right next to the gateway, which means when we've done this field, We'll take the cultivator and then we'll top up at the petrol station again, fuel station, and carry on into the institute. Not seen any ro any road blockages yet either, have we? I was a bit worried that I might have to do loads of prep stuff just to be able to get to where, and I'm not saying that the Institute will be clear like this as well, but for this particular map at the moment, it's all very free flowing and open. Not like our devs. Not regretting the tyre choice so far. I don't think there's anything that I could maybe do differently. Okay, so this is a proper three-point linkage lifted apparatus, not a towed trailer like the cultivator and planter were. Oh, <laughs> this steering's a bit light on the front. This one's a weight on it, mate. You want to stick a weight on the front of that? 
It's not very really responsive to turning now with this weight on the hanging off the back of it. I assume this will fit through this gate. I reckon this will be popping wheelies in a minute. It'll fit through the gate if you drive it properly out late. It's just funny to steer, isn't it? Oh, come on. Straighten up. Right, stop being a fool. Ah, big round bales. Oh, hello, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go in a ditch. I was looking at the big round bales there, thinking that's probably what that back actor lifting thing is meant to be. We got to load round bales onto a trailer, probably. Out of that field. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm I'm too busy sightseeing. I'm not watching where I'm driving. I'm just admiring that big old field full of round bales. Harvest these potato harvester, right? Yeah, that's just topping the plant and pulling the potatoes up and leaving the potatoes laying on the soil. Does that mean I have to come through with a, some another device to pick them up? I'm just going to leave them on the fields. I don't actually like the way that it auto lifts and deploys. I would rather be in manual control of when the um, Implement is raised and lowered. Small niggle. I just think it would, it would be a bit easier to govern what it is you're trying to do. Raining. Is that patchy because that's the way I drove it when I planted? I hit a percentage, but it didn't like, plant it in the bits I'd missed. Is that what happened there? First impressions, apart from the horrific hard mode save bug, which they really should have done better at in PTS, but apart from that, First impressions of phase A, I'm loving it. And I am liking, as, as skeptical as I was, I am liking farming in this. And to that note, let's just have a let's have us a screenshot. Get the header done and then we'll start driving loops again like we did just now. I don't know where the other tractor is. I should have streamed this really, but I've never done streaming. I don't really know how to do streaming. Uh, I don't know. How, I wouldn't have any music to sort out. I, I don't know how to do the. When you watch somebody who knows what they're doing with streaming, um, they do stuff that I look at and think, yeah, I don't know how to do that yet. So I really need to spend some time and learn how to do streaming. It's easier when you can see what you're doing. I don't think this does crop destruction. I'm trying to straddle the uh, furrows anyway. And then I'm driving over the potatoes that are already on the ground. Get 
get in there. Just don't buy the potatoes on the end of the field that I've been driving over. They're not going to make good chips. Vodka's made out of potatoes, isn't it? Is that what I'm doing here? Harvesting raw vodka. Scarecrow's kind of in my way. Not happy with him, really. Yeah, she's causing me to miss some. I'm trying to miss the scarecrow. There we go. Percentage complete. Little cutscene. The loading platform is relevant, presumably. All right. Now go check the warehouse. They're probably done packaging your harvest by now. Oh, and if you ever need more farming gear, check in at the trailer store. There's nothing those folks can't get for you. <laughs> right then, let's get a chainsaw and a bulldozer, if you don't mind, if there's nothing they can't get for me. $9,200, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. Uh, let's get this moved. And the potatoes are, are gone off the field, so the game harvested them for me, but presumably I could replant if I assume that there'll be missions or tasks that require you to have more potatoes and you'll have to plant and harvest and go through that same cycle that we just did. So detach that trailer. I'm going to hook up to the cultivator because I think I need it if I've read Map Runner properly for the step. And I don't know if there's anything else I'll need to do to unlock the step, but I'm going to head in what I believe to be the direction. Which is back up to the garage. Or get not garage. In the UK, a fuel station, why would we would call a garage? So back up to the fuel station. Refuel. And then head into the institute. Because that should have now given me access to the institute gateway. There may be a cultivator up there as well, by the way. I don't know. I'm just taking one because I've got one here. When I thought I'd lost my hard mode save, what do, I, what do I do, right? If that had been an unrecoverable problem, what do I do as a YouTube person that's got 185 episodes, including this one, of hard mode content? So prior to this, 184 episodes of hard mode content. If I suddenly lost my save, what would I do? Uh, and, and the two options I was kind of mulling, although really only one of them is viable. The, the most viable one is just carry on. Because ultimately, at the stage I've got to in this hard mode playthrough, the only thing that's hard is fuel management. And therefore, if this became a normal mode save, the only thing I would really find wrong is that I don't have to do fuel runs anymore. But that's a money issue rather than a difficulty issue. And I've got more money than I need now. So, really, the hard mode challenge isn't hard anymore. Alright, I could pay to recover vehicles and that would drain my money really quickly and I'm not going to do that. But, it would be a, like a self-imposed rule to not recover. But I can't. you can't help the fact that if you garage a truck, it's going to get fully refueled and repaired. That's just unavoidable. Right, fill that up again. Two dollars a litre. Happy with that. And then we're going to go on up to the gateway. But yeah, so that was one option is 
you know, it, if it really came down to it and it was impossible to recover the hard mode save or to put the save back into hard mode, would I, I'd probably have carried on with the series, but it would have been in normal mode instead. And that would have been pretty disappointing. Um, but the other option, would, which I'm sure some people would quite like, based on prior comments, is you could I could I could start completely start over as a new game plus um, and make my own super hard mode and make it even harder with the one concession that I would allow myself fifty percent selling trailers and I would allow myself perma daylight because from a content creator perspective perma daylight is just wonderful. The fact that you guys had to watch me cultivate that field in the dark or skip through it because I know some people do that uh, some people just choose to skip through the dark bit and that's fine I don't I don't object to that at all but yeah perma day mode would be good for content creation Institute new map Belozersk Belozersk Glades Central Asia that looks like a fancy track there on that screenshot then, wouldn't it? On the loading screen. Uh, so, I don't have visibility here. But I think the step is like way up north. So I think I will just follow my nose north. Maybe I'll put it into auto first. I'll just follow my nose north with this vehicle. <laughs> it's quite smart. I do like it. I do like the track there and I do like the mechanic of how this works. So there's a broken bridge by the look of it over there. Right. Just follow the main road right up through the middle of the map and see if we get to any road blockages. I have no idea what I'm driving into here. So I gather that the other tractor is basically a more modern version of this same type of thing. And that's what it looked like on the loading screen. I also hear that the Wolf Pack DLC, the truck that I like the look of, is a 1424. Has now got all-wheel drive and diff lock and raised suspension and bigger wheels. So that might be a truck that I want to add to my save and buy. I shall have a think about that. Because if they've listened to us and they've made those useful, they might get some of my dollars. I don't know where I'm going here. There is a watchtower there, look, just ahead of me. So let's, let's keep going because I can hopefully, even if I have to disconnect this trailer, Go and tag that watchtower. That might tell me that might show me where the step is. Oh, bit of broken road. There is lots of highway here, to be fair. Lots of highway. Lots of beehives there as well. Gotta look after your pollinators, people. Don't fancy reversing it out, so I'll drop a trailer and we'll go and get this watchtower and then come back and get the trailer. The lost mailman discovered. Am I going in the right direction? There's a definite broken road there. I may need to repair to be able to advance much further. Looks like a broken, maybe, road there. Hmm. So, I don't... That doesn't look to me like I can get north there. Probably need to bring the scout, don't I? And find a way. But I think I might backtrack and see if I can get across this. Circle around, because I think it's more like that watchtower would show me where I need to be. So I think 
I'll back up, get my uh, cultivator back on, and then turn around and go the other way. I'm going to use a rope to turn that around. But funny, one of the things that I frequently wish that I could do in farming sim, having played this game so much, is use a winch. Too far away. So many times when the winch would be useful in farming sim. Oh! Oh, hello. So that's what happens when you don't get quite close enough and you're attaching. So I've had things like that happen to me. I've just knocked over all the pollinators, look. I've had things like that happen to me on my normal save when I wasn't recording. That's the first time I've had something like that happen to me when I've actually had the recording software running. Oh, you Egypt. Well, right, I did say I wanted to bring the scout, didn't I? You absolute Egypt, Alley. Crossroads. Saturn. I need help, mate. Is that the step? Is that that screenshot? Right. Say what I'm going to do. Sorry. I am going to wrap this episode here. Uh, I don't know how much longer it will take to get the step. I think I'd rather do a Friday episode of the normal sort of length and get it edited. And then a Saturday episode can be longer if I need it to be. So this is about the right length of recording for me to edit down into a normal duration of video for my channel. So I am going to leave this here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you in the next episode where we'll push on into the Institute and get a step hike, hopefully, all being well. In the meantime, thank you very much and goodbye.